the best I've played with by a country mile. I am Conor Horan and this is my team. For my keeper, I am going to go for Emmy Martinez. As soon as he came in, he went from strength to strength. I was fortunate enough to play with him for about a couple of seasons. And then obviously since what he's done since me leaving the club as well, you know, winning the World Cup speaks for himself. So top class to keeper and improves every single season, especially the seasons that I've known him anyway. At right back then, I'm going to go for Seamus Coleman. Played with him with Ireland for four or five years. Incredible servant to Ireland and to the Premier League. Played with Everton now for, what is it, 10, 11, 12 years, whatever it may be. And to be in the Premier League for that long, you know, is an incredible achievement. So, um, Seamus would definitely be in at right back. I'm set and a half, I'm going to go for Esri Konza. Come into the club for a, a quite a big transfer fee at the time when I was at Aston Villa. But has everything in his game to be a top class defender and still at Villa now, um, thriving. Athletically very good, uh, really quick, comfortable on the ball, drives out with the ball um, from the back four as well. So he'd definitely be in there. Next to him then, takes care of itself, John Terry. I'm fortunate enough to play with him for a season, then he went on to be my coach for about two or three seasons. You know, an honour to play with him, a Premier League legend. His brain and his, his distribution with both feet um, was incredible. His communication, his standard setting, everything really was incredible to, to be up close with him for, for a season, like I said, as a player especially, but a really good coach as well. But yeah, John Terry speaks for himself. And then at left back, I'm going to go for a little bit of a not controversial, but controversial in terms of his positioning. Um, Tyrone Mings started off as a left back in his early days, obviously moved into a commanding centre half, left footed, uh, comfortable on the ball, uh, had to get him in there. Um, you know, had a, an amazing career um, so far, still has plenty of years left in him. Then one of my centre midfielders is a close friend of mine, John McGinn, captain of Villa now, uh, terrific guy first and foremost. Incredible footballer, bags of energy, a really good character in and around the changing room as well. You know, has, has been an unbelievable signing for Aston Villa, signing him for a couple of million and now captain of the club. Next to him is going to be Declan Rice. Was very fortunate to play with him for a couple of caps with Ireland. He was only about 19 at the time. I know it's a bit of a controversial one. I can hear some uh, laughs behind me here with the with the Ireland one, but he's that good. I couldn't I could not get not get him in there. Got on to yeah, at 24 now, I think, gone on to you know to, to be bought for 100 and odd million. Uh, incredible player, and to see him grow and thrive over the last five six years has been amazing. So he's got to get in there. Then I'm going to try and get as many tackling players as, as I can because um, I've been fortunate to play some really good ones. So I'm going to go on the right. I'm going to go Gibbs White. Played for him for a year at Sheffield United and was comfortably our best player in my opinion. Got on to Nottingham Forest uh, for a big fee, but he's an amazing footballer. Um, was amazing this summer for the, for the 21s and has a very big future in front of him at such a young age, so he gets in there as well. My two strikers is going to be, one's going to be Ollie Watkins. You know, come to, to come to Villa for a big transfer fee, um, scores bags of goals, works his absolute backside off and deserves everything he gets. Terrific professional, always doing extras on his shooting, left and right foot. Uh, got on to play for England, scored for England I think as well and uh, is a main striker now for Aston Villa so he's definitely getting in there. The other striker next to him is going to be Tammy Abraham and scored bags of goals, I think about 25-26 goals when we got promoted from the Championship at Villa. Kind of a fox, different to Ollie, whereas Ollie would uh, run lots of ch channels and, and, and work really hard. Tammy just had that mentality to just score goals. Scored so many important goals for us in our promotion winning season. Gone to Rome, scored goals for Chelsea, gone to Roma, scored goals for them as well. Scored goals for England and he definitely gets in there. And then on the left, the best of the lot is uh, Jack Grealish. What a, what a footballer, the best I've played with by a country mile. To see what he's done over the last few years. Gone to Man City, won the treble still close with him now, an amazing guy and it was just like I said, similar to, to the John Terry one, just an absolute pleasure to play with him for three, four seasons and see how he improved and and, and you know just, just gone from strength to strength and up, up level every season. It was a pleasure to see that up close and that's my team 1-11. to 11.